What's up YouTube? I'm Trent Weldon. Welcome back to the channel Weldon Aquatics. In today's video, I want to show you how I built my water station. Now what I mean by water station, you can also have heard it called a mixing station, um, battle station, but no, primarily it's going to be a mixing station for my future reef tank that I will be setting back up in the new Weldon Aquatics fish room that is coming. You know, it's kind of one of those projects that I can get started with now as I still need to work out finishing my basement to move all of my tanks in. But this is something that I can get started on and it'll make more sense why I chose to do this project now in a later video as we continue on I talk more about the reef build. I wanted to give you just a quick update, well, kind of a brief intro more so, of what kind of stand I am building. I'm using the basic 2x4 system again. I mean, it, it's the, the same style that I have shown uh, previously when I actually built a, a dual stand that would hold 255 gallons basically, but I used it to hold a 55 gallon and a 33 gallon on top. So I will link that video in the description below. But if you're familiar with the King of DIY, I'm using his same method to build this. Very cheap, very simple. And in all honesty, I did not need this to hold a crazy amount of weight. That's why you're gonna see that I forego some of the more critical bracing. Um, this is only gonna hold a 30 gallon barrel. And by the manufacturer's specs, the barrel itself is about 13 pounds. And then it's gonna max hold 30 gallons of water which you know, a gallon of water roughly weighs about eight pounds. So we get into the, the debate of the shearing strength of the screws, the structural integrity of the two by four, and this thing is not gonna give me a problem at all. And then especially with the plywood we put on top, this thing will hold way more weight than I actually need it to, just in case anyone was worrying. But again, very simple build. And instead of me jabbering the entire time, let's get to work and I will show you at the end.
there it is. There is the main water station. Now this ties into the reverse osmosis unit that we set up. I did a video on that and actually what that filter is and how we set that up. Now stay tuned and if you're not subscribed, feel free to do so as we're gonna continue this series in actually plumbing this water station and tying it all together and showing you my thought process in this and actually how it's going to work. So thank you guys for joining me and we'll see you in the next one.